Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lady Lauren and today we're going to be talking about a second chance romance that's like angst but very very fluffy when it comes to our hero. He's a golden retriever kind of hero. This is Beneath the Lies. This is the cover to cover special edition. I love it. It's actually textured. I love the texture. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the texture? Yeah, there it is. It's textured. Love that. But this book is frustrating for me. I find that if I like have a second change romance, I don't like dual timelines because it makes me not invested in the story as much. In this one, our heroine is has left Hunter because of something he can't really remember doing, but it seems like, or it's been implied that he has done this. So she leaves him and he's chasing after her. 10 years later, she is coming back to the town because of her mother figure telling her to come back to this town because where she lives at, some things are happening in her mother figure, Mama B, does not want her there. She wants her back in their town. So she moves back. And who does she happen to see the first day back in? Hunter. And he tries to apologize. But we don't know why he's apologizing. It's implied. Like, at first, I was hesitant to say, like, oh, cheating. You don't find out until the middle of the book. Because it goes back to the time they first meet when they were 11. And we go back in time then. And he goes forward to him trying to get her to listen to him. Then it goes back to when they're 11. And then finally it flips flops until we get to the pinnacle of the day she leaves him. And we find out that like lots of things are happening with her because she just lost her father, who is a great father. Thank you very much. He is a great father. Love that man. That man is great. She loses her father. She loses her mother, but we don't really care for her. But we love her father. She's dealing with a lot of, like, this emptiness. And Hunter is with her, but she wants Hunter to experience... The, she doesn't want him to, like, boil out with her. She wants him to like, hey, your best friend wants you to go to his birthday party. Just go. Go there for a couple hours and come back. But I don't want you to miss out on this. I'm wallowing. It's okay. <laughs> he goes. She wakes up to a whole bunch of text messages. And you can take it from there. I will say that I gave this book a 3.25 or 3. I think I gave it a 3.25 though. I found her to be so frustrating. First of all, it's been 10 years <laughs> and you're still holding on to this person. So you should just look, like hear them out. If you're still holding on to the resentment of this person, then obviously you still have feelings for this person because if you didn't, then like you wouldn't care what they like, where they were or having these bubbly feelings about them or keep kissing them. So yeah, hear the person out. Hear him out. Hear Hunter out. Because I was rooting for Hunter this whole entire time. I was like, oh my gosh, can she just... <sighs> I'm so frustrated with her and how she was treating Hunter. I am just like, I don't. I can't do this. This heroine is getting on my nerves. <laughs> and that's why I gave it a low rating. Because of the heroine. She was just not lovable. <laughs> Until she was. When she was with Hunter. I just didn't understand why she just kept harping on this. Then when she finds out that it was all a lie, she gets drunk and has sex with him and they start their relationship all over again. Like, I was just like, you put him through all of that? What? 
I don't know. It just made me not appreciate her. I was just like, oh my gosh, Hunter, please. But we did get a peek into Hunter's best friends and her second best friend story. And I was just like, ooh. Mm. But there is, oh, there is a scene, a couple of scenes of abuse because her her second best friend is ah, like running from something in her, in her past who catches up. So I'm guessing if you read the second book in the series, you'll find out because I think this coincides. It's a stand, it's an interconnected standalone, basically. So we'll finally get what happened to her in that apartment when they find her in that book. But it's tragic because there was a bunch of blood, broken ribs. She was comatose for a minute. And I mean, like, I think three or four days she was in a coma, so. But I won't read the rest of the series because this kind of just made me <laughs> frustrated. And when I read frustrating books, I just don't want to read the rest of the series. It's not even frustrating in a good way. I was just so mad at the heroine for how petty it seemed her her feelings were, if you get what I mean. This heroine made me not want to continue the series. My frustration with her and how she treated Hunter in the situation he was in was mind blowing. I just couldn't understand how she could go through 10 years of this, having these feelings for him, feeling this pain, not hearing him out and then find out everything was a lie and then just jump back into it. I just didn't understand that. That's just me. But my name is Lady Lauren Exler. I post this video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Sunday. So please be subscribed to get notified when I have uploaded. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye! <laughs>